the most accurate twin flame test in the world. We're going to learn about that today. And it's so simple. You and your twin flame are the same soul. Right? Everybody knows that. Okay, you have to go in here to where the soul is. And when you do, your twin flame shows up so fast, it'll make your head spin. If they have you blocked, they'll unblock you. If they were rejecting you, they're going to start chasing you now. And you're going to feel it. You're going to feel a soul experience. There's a word for it. It's called samadhi. Okay, or more specific, satori. It's an experience of soul. And I'm going to explain exactly what that is, or at least I'm going to try to, right? And there's actually kind of a problem with the attempting to explain it, okay? And that'll make more sense to you uh, by the time we're done with this video because an explanation is a thought, right? That's the mind. And I'm not saying that's bad. I'm just saying that's what that is. Well, the soul is not thought. It's not the mind. It's the soul, right? Body, mind, soul. So you have to, you have, to have this soul experience or I guess... More accurately, it, I guess the best way to describe it would be you have to release the illusion of, of personality, of ego, right? You have to release the illusion that you're not a soul, but you feel it. You feel it in your whole being, this deep spiritual experience. They call it Satori, and it's, it's like absolute awareness, absolute presence, and the damnedest thing happens Whenever you have one of those experiences, your twin flame starts chasing you. They start talking to you. If they had you blocked, they'll unblock you and contact you and start making love confessions. You think I'm joking. It's what happened to me. It happens to almost all my students. Okay, my twin flame is permanently in my life because I've been doing this for so long. I've energetically shifted into that higher consciousness of soul permanently. Okay, and you can too. But along the way, there were several times when I would have one of these Satori experiences, okay? And this is 10,000-year-old traditional Zen spiritualism that I teach on this channel. That's really all that I teach on this channel. But everybody looks at me like I'm a twin flame teacher. Am I? I don't think so. I think what I'm teaching you is traditional Zen spiritualism, okay? But what else would it be? You and your twin flame are the same soul, Okay, and this is why I'm the number one twin flame coach in the world. This is why I've been able to help so many people, over 3,000. Okay, and I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just letting you know, you know, like it, it should be pretty obvious what this journey is really all about, but it just isn't, you know, and I don't know, guys, I guess I'm just having a, a one of those days, right? I just, I just got off the internet looking at some twin flame stuff and I was like, oh, my God, here we go again. Because it's the same tired old stuff. It's the same tired old stuff. They go, they, oh, we're going to tell you all about your twin flame. And then they start listing all this soulmate stuff. And I'm not even saying that soulmates are bad, but that's not what this is. Right? All these signs that you've met your twin flame and it's all romantic, you know, soulmate kind of stuff. And that's not what this is, guys. That's not what this is. This is your soul's journey. You and your twin flame are the same soul. It's just, it just seems so obvious to me, right? So you got to go in here, okay? You got to go in here. This is where your twin flame is. This is your spiritual awakening. That's all this is, okay? And if you do that energetically, yeah, your twin flame is going to show up so fast it'll make your head spin, okay? They'll start chasing you for a change, all right. And when you have one of these experiences, again, it's called Satori. You feel it. And it's this deep knowing. It's this place of deep inner peace and Zen. And it's not something that you can acquire. OK, your body, mind, soul. Right now, the mind is what thinks it can acquire a thing like Satori. OK, or a lifestyle such as samadhi, right? I, I, I think what you would call samadhi, right? And to even describe it to you is a paradox. It's an oxymoron because a description is a thought, 
Okay, and I'm not saying that's bad, that's just what that is. But the soul is not thought, it's consciousness, it's being, and that's what your twin flame is. You gotta go in here, okay? The mind is externalized, it's always looking to the outside. It's always saying, I'm here, you're over there, and I have to acquire that thing or that person or that experience. And you can't really acquire Satori or Samadhi. You can't even really talk about it technically. Already I'm doing it wrong. Just by saying that there is such a thing as Samadhi, you're already doing it wrong, okay? That's the level that we're on here, guys, all right? And the quickest way for you to do that is actually to detox from the addictive energy of the person for a while, okay? And that might mean not talking to them for a long time and just going into your Zen space, making a lifestyle out of Zen, okay? Really embracing that, having these inward experiences. Learn about who you really are. Read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. That's a good place to start. You could also read Wherever You Go, There You Are. That's another really great book. And the author's name is John Cabot Zinn, J O N. Cabot Zinn, K-A-B-A-T, John Cabot Zinn, Wherever You Go, There You Are, and The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. I have, I have my students read both of those books and lots of other books too, but that's a good place to start. You could go watch my free content. I have the playlist on my channel called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Just go find that playlist, How to Get Your Twin Flame. Go check that out. Right, learn about soul stuff, what I call soul stuff, okay? This is your spiritual awakening and you just need to treat it that way and you need to create the space in your life situation for Zen every day. You gotta go in here and quiet the mind, okay? You need, to, you need to be in a state of no mind and you have to make a lifestyle out of that. It's a daily practice. Okay, but if you've really met your twin flame, it's easy, trust me. Um, they've already done all the work, okay? Your twin flame comes in and they trigger that awakening. They initiate it for you. You already had this big meltdown, right? The dark night of the soul. Well, that's your ego. That's your personality melting away, breaking away. It's energy breaking loose so that the energy of consciousness can come out even further. And remember, the soul is consciousness. That's what, the, that's what your twin flame is. Okay, so it's already been initiated. You just have to embrace that. Go deep into your Zen space. That's really all it is, guys. There's no steps and stages. There's nothing that you need to do with the physical person. As a matter of fact, if you kind of just detoxify yourself from them for a while, you'll speed things up. I, I tell all my students to ghost, block, and delete their twin flame for a while, you know, like several months, whatever. Just get out of their energy and go into your Zen space. Or if they've got you blocked, then just don't worry about it. Just live your life and stop, stop worrying about this person. And remember, it's not really you that worries about the person. It's the mind that is worried about the person. You are not your mind, okay? Body, mind, soul, you're the soul. You're the conscious being, okay? Now, when you embrace this as a lifestyle, you will start to feel changes. You will, you'll start having these deeper breakthroughs. You'll experience, again, it's called Satori, okay? And when you have a Satori experience, you feel blanketed by Zen, by this bliss, it's just, it's just intense peace and, and joy and, and true love, Zen love, inner peace, stillness, okay? And you move in and out of this state. And I, I feel that every day, the, you know, the further you go down this path energetically, uh, the deeper you go into that all the time. But once you start to have these types of Satori experiences, your twin flame will show up. They'll start talking to you again. Okay, and you're not gonna need anything else. You're not gonna need 22 little signs and here's a bunch of tests you can do and here's all the stages you gotta go through. And you know that's looking at the other person like, oh, let's see how we're compatible. 
in all these ways. Guys, that's soulmates, okay? That's not what this is. That's not what this is, okay? You will get a response from the person. They will start talking to you, but it's only when you go in here, you take all your focus off the other person, off the physical person, right? Off the physical twin flame person. And you go in here and have those kind of inward experiences. Guys, that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. You don't actually need the other person to tell if they are your twin flame. That's what's so ironic about this. You go in here and you feel it. You feel it energetically. You have these deeper awakening experiences. That's all there is to it, guys. And your twin flame will start chasing you. That's the most effective twin flame test. Okay, that's the number one twin flame test right there. Because you and your twin flame are the same soul. You've got to go where your soul is, guys. It's so simple. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And hit the bell notification icon button so that you can get notifications whenever I post one of my videos. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. See you later.